Hey, it's the Sun Sage, and I'm back to do a pick a card reading for you guys. This pick a card is how would they describe you? Okay, so the person that you're connected to, this is how they see you, how they perceive you, how they would describe you. All right, so you may or may not know or have heard this person describe you, and if you haven't heard it or you're just curious, this is the reading for you, okay? So we have three decks. Make sure you choose the deck that most resonates with you in the card pick. And we're going to get started with the Mermaid Tarot and the Red Jasper Crystal, okay? So group one, you chose the uh, Red Jasper Mermaid Tarot. Let's get started for you guys. <clears throat> So whoever you're thinking about, whoever you are connected to at this time, group one, think about that person so their energy can come through and we can see what they think of you, all right? How would group one's person describe them, all right? How would group one's person describe them? Okay, so we have the eight of pentacles. I'm going to get quite a few cards. I'm going to also get cards from different decks. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Two of Cups. Nice. Okay, what else do we have? How they would describe Group 1. We have the Tower. How would Group 1's person describe them? We have the Hermit. How would Group 1's person describe them? Moon, Nine of Swords, okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, how would group one's person describe them, and the High Priestess, okay, so they see you guys, look at the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay, I am not going to use that, but for reference, that is a card of emotional fulfillment and love and so they could describe you as very loving or just feel like that's like a overall personality trait that they may not use when they're describing you because all of these other energies come through a lot stronger but they do see you as someone very caring all right so i'm going to get some from these and then i am going to get some physical and character personality characteristics from my own <clears throat> deck so we have the great void aditi We have Eight of Fire Expression. All right, and let's get another one for how they would describe you. Aesthetic Union. I'm going to get another one. All right, what else do we have? Mother of, Cre Mother of Wind Creativity, okay? So they see you, Group One. They would describe you as this multifaceted, diverse, creative. You could be multicultural, multilingual, bilingual. You're just an all over like kind of person like you have this hermit energy here giving off like very wise and into books and into studying. And then you have like this tower energy, which is like kind of unpredictable. Um, You never know like what your energy is going to be. I feel like you have for the most part kind of like a humble um, persona. So I feel like this person describes you as that. With this Eight of Pentacles, I'm getting that they describe you as a hard worker. They describe you as someone who puts a thousand percent into everything that you do, including this connection, possibly. So they're seeing you as a person who doesn't have ass things. You give your effort. You don't, if, if some, if you're going to let somebody know how you feel, you're going to let them know. It's not going to be some minuscule effort, right? You're going to make that known. And if you feel like the feelings are mutual, you're going to work to make it last. Okay. So they definitely would describe you as someone who is, I think you could be successful as well, right? You could be a hard worker in that sense too. Um, but you definitely put effort into majority of the things that you do. Um, you're also very generous, I feel, with this effort. And I feel like you, this, for some reason, is giving me very forgiving because it has like a community vibe. So you're, you're very giving and very forgiving. Um, you have a lot on your plate, I feel. You have a lot on your plate, but you, I feel like, I don't think that you complain. <laughs> I don't feel like you complain. So they may describe you as someone who, is able to handle pressure, someone who is able to um, 
figure things out. Figure things out, problem solver energy. You're very logical. You're very practical. You're very grounded. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you spend money, <laughs> but I feel, I feel like you spend, I feel like you don't live above your means, but I feel like you have a nice things with this eight of pentacles. I feel like that eight of pentacles is telling me that you are somebody who works, um, very hard to, uh, to look nice, to live nicely. Knight of Swords, you speak your opinion. You don't. That's why you don't have ass things, right? Because you're very strong. Um, you're very strong-willed, very opinionated. Um, they would describe you as somebody who cuts to the chase. You feel like if you're working hard and if you're putting in effort, others should too. So I definitely feel like this person sees you as a blunt person. Um, this for me is confirming that language because the Knight of Swords is like communication. It can be harsh communication. Um, some of you may be trying to stop cursing at this time or trying to stop saying certain things. So, cause the, sometimes the Knight of Swords is kind of like reckless <laughs> with their mouth, right? So they could describe you as that. And I feel like with this Knight of Swords energy showing up with that Eight of Pentacles, it's telling me that your person would describe you as blunt and, and clear to the point, but that you're also somebody that's very giving. You give your opinion um, very freely, okay? Um, What else am I getting from this Knight of Swords? You could have, I feel like a lot of you, um, they could also see you as like a community leader of sorts or somebody in the community who people respect. All right. So I do get that as well. So let's see what's going on with this eight of cups for you, group one. So they would describe you as, I feel like they would describe you as a, loner. I get that with the hermit as well, but I feel like a part of you gives to um emotional and you do you will invest emotionally. We have the seven of pentacles. You don't have a problem doing that. I also feel like a lot of you are very clear about needing time for yourself. That is something that is very important to you. I feel like a part of the reason why you give your all and your person describes you as that is because they see that you have things that you like to work on on your own. You have a self journey that you're going through. Some things, like I said, for some of you, you may want to stop cursing or whatever your thing is. I'm not saying that's your thing, but whatever it is you're trying to stop doing or trying to cut off in your life, I feel like um, they see this and they recognize this in you. Um, they may be the person in the connection that is... Um, more affectionate. I will, um, we do have the two of cups, but we don't have very many other cups. So they could be the person that's more affectionate. Sometimes they may say they don't know how you feel about them. They may describe you as very elusive, definitely mysterious. We have the hermit, the moon, and the high priestess. So they would describe you as mysterious. Some of you are a Scorpio. Some of you are, some of you are water signs. Um, for some of you, your person is a water sign and the way that they describe you is based off of their emotions. Maybe sometimes not even like the real picture of who you are, but how they feel about you. So that means like if they say something like, um, they hurt my feelings when they talk sometimes, you know, this is just an example. Um, group one hurts my feelings when they talk. They're talking about how you make them feel, but what that really <laughs> means is that's confirming that blunt energy and kind of bold and refreshing to a certain extent. But um, they could sometimes feel like they need a little more attention from you. They could describe you as maybe dismissive of their feelings, especially if they're super sensitive and water sign energy is heavy in this reading. Um, as far as like the darker energies, the moon, the high priestess, the eight of cups. What do we have for this eight of cups? five of cups yeah so i think there is a sense here that while you do put in a lot of effort into your relationships and any type of connection that's important to you i feel like this person wants to have a little more fun i feel like they feel like that's something that could be lacking in the connection possibly because you work so hard you guys could spend a lot of time away there could be times where they only see you for an hour and then you have to leave or they could be they could say something like i only um got to see them like once this week or whatever However, on the flip side, that could be a way that they're describing themselves, right? They could I mean a way that they're describing 
um, their situation with you is that you guys don't get to spend that much time together. I miss them when they're away. I do feel like they describe you as somebody they want to get closer to and be more affectionate with. Okay. Some of you could be on the, um, fence about going deep in to this connection. Um, you may have just met or you may have some reservations because of certain things this person did in the past. You had to walk away from them. They describe you as not taking any foolishness. So you'll walk away if you have to. But also that may have limited your affection meter with them, essentially. Like you may have closed yourself off somewhat. And so they want to get, get back to the way things were at one time between you guys or possibly the way things were at the beginning. So they feel like you have a little bit of resentment towards them and they may describe you as that. Um, for some of the things they may have brought on in the past, okay? Page of Pentacles, yeah, they describe you. So some of you could be actual students, okay? Some of you could be actual students, um, but they describe you as a, a again, humble, practical person. Um, you always have something going on. A new opportunity is always coming. They could describe you as lucky with this page of pentacles. Like you always have somebody offering you a new job. You're always getting a promotion or something like that with money. So they see you as somebody who has a lot of skill and talent and you utilize those skills and talents and then opportunities pop up for you. So they see you as very resourceful and they describe you that way. Page of Pentacles with this rainbow and these fairies. Some of you may love fantasy books. Some of you may like mysteries, but there's a lot of fantasy here. Um, I feel like this page is relaying a message of positivity and hope and something stable. So I feel like they, I was going to say, um, wifey energy for for a lot of you um or husband like whatever your situation is they do see themselves as able to have like a solid life with you what's this page of pentacles justice solid life marriage commitment um they feel like the investment would be worthwhile when it comes to you with this justice they also feel like they would describe you as balanced like somebody who is fair like if you have retreated from them in some way emotionally, they feel like it's deserved. <laughs> you treat them how they deserve to be treated. So with these little tricky cups here, this eight of cups and this five of cups clarifying that, you could be very um, warm and um, welcoming and very open. But if this person has done things to um, betray your trust or they weren't reciprocating when you were giving your all, that might have made, that might have made you fall back a bit. So they would describe that. Justice, we have Libra energy here for you guys. Um, two of Cups, yeah, they see you as a true partner. This is mutual feelings. Soulmate, okay, soulmate. Um, for a lot of you, a lot of you, this person either wants to marry you or started thinking about marriage when they met you. Okay, what's this two of cups? The king of pentacles. Yeah, this is a solid grounded person who has like um, plans to take things even further. They view you as like the whole package. <laughs> okay, they view you as like the whole package. King of pentacles. Um, you have... The, provider energy about yourself like you're very nurturing very giving you're the type of person that if like family needs help they can come to you or you were that person um at some point and they witness that they see you as successful this is confirming that success energy with the king of pentacles the king of pentacles has come a long way they've worked very hard for what they have and they protect what they have, okay, with this two of cups. So you're very protective of them in a way of this connection. Um, again, this is that solid earth grounded energy. This is something that is not trivial for you. You take this very seriously. So they definitely see that. Tower, okay. So let's see what's going on with that tower because that's unpredictability. They may see some of you as like rocky, kind of like um back and forth emotionally. We have the moon here, so moody I'm getting with that tower. Um, you may have a temper, so you may like go off either really easily or when you do go off, it is like Mount Vesuvius, right? It's it's dangerous. What's this tower? 
the queen of cups. <laughs> I've been waiting for like a cup um, energy, a significant cup energy. And we have that here with this queen of cups. So yes, you are warm and loving and you give when you're given to, you know, you like reciprocated energy who doesn't, but they do definitely acknowledge that. But I think they see you as somebody who can be a little bit emotionally, um, maybe possessive. They could see you as emotionally moody. They know how much you love them though. They know how much you care for them. And sometimes, or not even sometimes you just you just don't have any problem showing them or telling them how they made you feel that they do something that you consider shady or do something that goes against the connection and hurts your heart. Like you're quick to lash out at them. You're quick to let them know exactly how they made you feel with this queen of cups. Like, don't take me for granted. Don't, you know, you hurt me or whatever you have to say to them, you make it known. So they would describe you as very emotionally expressive, at least verbally, right? Even if they feel like you guys are lacking some sort of affection, they know that it comes from a place of may possibly their actions or lack of actions contributing to that. So they have to warm you up again and make you comfortable again. And they know that. The Hermit, this is confirming that you like to be by yourself sometimes. You like to retreat. Um, some of you are bookworms, okay? Some of you study. Um, if you're students, you study really hard. You're always seeking the answers to things. You're a problem solver. Virgo energy showing up here. Um. They describe you as very intelligent, okay? They describe you as like an oracle, a, a person of wisdom and can give good advice because you've had a lot of significant experiences that you can help with. Yes, this queen of swords, this is kind of a lawyer, a judge. Some of you will be in the legal field because justice came up. But I do think that you're a fair person. You treat people how you want to be treated. And then if they don't reciprocate or if they act funny, then you have to become that queen of swords. When you are spending time to yourself, though, I think they describe it as you just need to get your, your mind straight. You just need to get your mind clear. Okay. The queen of swords is clarity. So whenever you find yourself in an emotionally explosive episode, group one, you like to go away to clear your head. You like to go away to like find your peace and to find your balance again. Okay. A lot of you hate to be out of balance. This person could trigger things in you that make you lash out in a way you're not comfortable with, that make you want to hide. <laughs> Some of you, you will feel ashamed of expressing yourself in certain ways, especially if you feel like you go overboard. So they would describe you as very passionate in that way. That tower is passion too. Um, physically, you guys have a very passionate, intimate session a lot. Um, if you haven't got there with this person, I don't think we have a lot of people before this group, at least. I feel like you guys have been together. But if you haven't been together, I feel like this person believes that your emotional intensity would make you a great um, intimacy partner. All right. Let's see what's going on with this moon here. Very mysterious. They describe you as um, a music lover. Some of you... um listen to music with this person. You could send them links to songs or videos or something. That's something that you guys could share. You're very much into music. Some of you actually sing group one. All right. So we have the devil. Okay. So yeah. So a lot of you are into music. A lot of you are into music that could amp you up and bring out like your, uh, your, your, your naughtier side or you're very you could be easily influenced through music. Um, the devil is a sign of sometimes unhealthiness and fear. And I feel like a lot of you fear um, the jealousy is here in this moon and in this devil. So if you have jealous tendencies over this person, it comes from this. You not wanting to lose them with that codependent energy that can come with the devil. Um, a lot of you just get angry. If you see somebody like flirting with your person or see your person like talking to some, it just makes you angry and it makes you turn like want to hide away, like want to, you know, lock yourself away. And like I said, clear your head because they bring this out of you. A lot of you, when you're alone, you like to uh, 
read books or listen to music a lot, but a lot of you could also spend too much time alone and disconnect from the world to the point where the people closest to you have no idea where you are, what you're up to. Um, so I think this moon and this devil is like, they would describe you as somebody who has like, yes, mystery, but also like a shadow side that you are constantly like in a challenge or a struggle with. All right. Um, some of you could fear an addiction to money or fear becoming addicted to anything in general, but just have this fear of addiction. Some of you have a fear of addiction. Okay. That is coming out here. Some of you have a fear of addiction. All right. What's this nine of swords? <clears throat> a warrior. They describe you as somebody who worries a lot. You, you're you constantly thinking about those around you. You could neglect yourself at times. Constantly thinking about those around you here confirmed with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, you could be the more responsible person in your family or your friend circle. So you're the person that everybody gets advice from. They describe you, as, again, as very wise and talkative, and you're able to help people because of your own experiences. You could neglect your own emotional needs, though, right? So they see you as a family person. Um, you take family very seriously. They also see you as like somebody who has a family that could drive you nuts, <laughs> okay? That could also explain this needing time to yourself and sometimes having to cut people off and sometimes having to even walk away from a pleasant love experience because it's just getting too intense and the moment that starts to happen you start to feel all of these things that make you uncomfortable right so the seven of pentacles right going with that work hard you're very patient you like to invest in what you believe in i feel like you believe in this connection so they they would describe you as very serious about relationships, okay? If it's something that needs to be worked on, you're going to speak up about it and work on it. And if you feel like your person is not receptive to that, you're going to work on yourself or you're going to leave the situation. You're not going to put any investment where you don't feel like it's worthwhile. But I do feel like you see this person as worthwhile. What's this? Seven of Pentacles? Nine of Cups. Yeah, you see them as worthwhile. They could be a water sign. Pisces here, Scorpio, Cancer. I feel like this is the only person, like if you're going to invest in anything or give somebody multiple chances or, you know, they see you as very forgiving of them because of how you feel about them. Even if you're not always showing it, it's like one of those things where it's like, they know I love them. I don't need to be all kissing and hugging up on them because when I did that, this person, you know, acted funny or changed or switched up but we do have an understanding here in this connection where the feelings are strong the feelings are pure it's just that we still need a lot more time before we get to that whole you know marriage and commitment thing but it's definitely on your mind and it's definitely on their mind whatever you're feeling I feel like it's mutual for them with that two of cups the high priestess, you're very intuitive. You are the type of person where if this person is doing something they're not supposed to be doing, you know it, <laughs> all right? Or even if like they're sad and feeling some type of way, you know, you can like zone in on their energy. But with that high priestess, I feel like a lot of you have had to use your intuition to kind of figure this person out. And sometimes they're like, Dag, how did group one know that? Or how they find that out? But you're very smart judgment you're very powerful you're very um you're mentally and spiritually strong and for some of you that could be like so it could get so intense like your moods and your feelings get so intense sometimes you're like let me fall back let me take this time to myself before i you know explode on someone just because i need to have some sort of emotional outlet and I'm going to curse somebody out or I need to like take some time away. A lot of you could be prone to getting headaches and stress headaches and um, sort of like body aches, back aches, support, like things like that because of the simple fact that you have such strong energies surrounding you and inside of you. Also, you feel like you are the support, the back, the neck for a family. So you have a lot of stress on you at times, okay? 
Um, yeah, so the great void, that would be that judgment energy. They would describe you, yes, as mystery. Sometimes they describe you as emotionally void. Sometimes they feel like they're not, um, they can't understand you. Okay. Like you could be very difficult to understand and difficult to kind of, uh, like if somebody says describe group one, they could be like, it's complicated. <laughs> I don't know how to describe group one. Group one is sweet and loving, but group one will cut you. Group one is crazy, you know, like that sort of thing. So the great void is, I feel like there's a lot they still don't know about you. And there's a lot they still would like to know about you. There's a void, um, and an emotional disconnect. Okay. Eight of fire expression. Okay. So they see you guys as very, um, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of creative expression. Again, music is coming up. I guess some of you like to dance. Some of you love music. Um, with this, I'm getting like, um, some of you could be exotic dancers or like somebody here has that energy. Um, and that could be where that addiction to money or that sort of energy comes um, from where you're just, you just like to make a lot of money. Um, but yes, expression. You don't have no problem expressing yourself. You may not have a filter, <laughs> okay? But they see you as fiery and again, intense. Um, that would be like the eight of wands energy, that communication. So even when you shut yourself away, um, or I, I feel like when you do shut yourself away, it's noticeable because you are maybe the loudest person in the room or the person that everybody is used to asking advice from. So not having your presence around or not hearing your voice could be really um, <laughs> kind of traumatic for the people around you. They want to know what's up. So this person describes you as having like a really big impact on the people around you. A static union. This is confirming what I said about you guys' intimacy. It being the sparks fly. It, it being really hot and it being really sexy and, and you guys are very intense. You take that very seriously. Eight of Pentacles, you work very hard, you know, to impress them in every way. And um, I feel like this is one of those things that you guys could enjoy together. They could, just like they said, um, if they, just like I said, if they describe you, they may say, um, they want to marry you or you're the only person that's made them think about marriage. You could be the best intimate partner they've ever had or something with this ecstatic union. This would be like the lovers. All right. We have Gemini energy showing up. Sagittarius is here too. And if your sign or their sign isn't called, it doesn't matter <laughs> because both of you are taking on a lot of these energies. Um, so it could be in your chart or these are just some of the influences that you have in your own personalities. All right. So that mother of wind, that creativity, that creativity, they describe you as creative. Again, some of you are very much into music, very much into dancing, vibing. Um, that could be something that you guys have in common with this person. Um, they see you as just a well-rounded sort of person who's into music, but who also has like a, a practical, quote unquote, practical job too. But you could sing, you know, um, as a hobby or just something, right? But you're very creative. And when you put your mind to something, you make it happen, group one. Um, so that could be very admirable, um, as far as they're concerned. Let's see some physical traits, what we have here. These are like physical and personality characteristics, how they would describe you. All right, I'm just going to get a couple. So special. Yeah, you're very special to them. Um, that could actually just be the first thing they say. Well, group one is very special to me. They're complicated, you know. They can have an attitude problem, but they're very special to me, right? Um, let's see. Forgiving. Confirmed. You're very forgiving. Um, you very much have strict mother vibes, group one, whether you have a strict mom or you are that, or you just are like the, the older sibling and you have to like, kind of put people in their place. Sometimes you have that strictness about you, that disciplinary energy, energy about you, but you are also very forgiving and loving you. You're strict and hard on people because you love them. All right. So how would group one's person describe them? 
amazing hair. <laughs> so they love your hair. You could switch your hair up, um, you know, sometimes, but they love your hair. They love you. Um, that, that physical trait about you is something that they love. Uh, it says amazing hair. <laughs> okay. So they really do, um, get a, a good little kick out of that in your spirituality. Absolutely. We have high priestess, judgment, the moon, lots of spiritual major arcana energies here. So you're very spiritual, right? A lot of you are fighting like things that you feel are not connected to you or things that you feel, energies you may feel are not yours that you deal with and struggle with on a daily basis. So sometimes when you are, um, I'll say in maybe a heightened emotional state, is because of things inside that you're dealing with that you do need time away from people before you lash out against those that you love. So your spirituality is important to you. You're fighting like un unhealthy and toxic habits and um, your person knows that. OK, they see the they see the good, they see the bad and they like you anyway. <laughs> All right. That is what I have for you, group one. I hope that resonated for you guys as for how your person would describe you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Hello, group two. It is the Sun Sage, and I am back to do a pick a card reading for you guys. Um, this is how would your person describe you? So, whoever you're thinking about, whoever you're connecting to, you chose the Golden Wheel Tarot along with the Amethyst. Okay, so we're gonna see how it is your person would describe you. Okay, this will be physical characteristics, um, personality traits, and we're just gonna take a look and see what they would tell others about you. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, for liking and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. All right, group two, let's get into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these as well. All right, so group two, how would your person describe you? All right. Let's channel your person, group two. They would describe you as emperor. How would they describe group two? Two wheels. All right, what else do we have? How would they describe group two? Justice. How would they describe group two? Chariot. We have the sun. Nice. How would they describe? Okay, the world. All right. The hanged man. We have the queen of wheels. Nice. Your person thinks very highly of you, group two. Um, the seven of wands. Well. Okay, what do we have? The Two of Swords. So this is how your person would describe you. Okay, and then I'm going to get some from the Mythical Goddess. How would Group 1, group, I'm sorry, Group 2's person describe them? What do we have for Group 2? We have Sacred Fire. All right. Uh, Sorceress, Morgan Le Fay. Um, we have Eight of Seas, Depletion. And we have Ecstatic Union, Shakti. Group one got that as well. All right. So, group two, how would your person describe you? These are so interesting. So, like I said, I feel like your person thinks very highly of you and they would describe you mostly using positive things, right? 
Um, I feel like they view you as patient. For some of them, um, the world showing up gives me that you could be different races or cultures, or there is something about you that is exotic to them or different to them. And it's something that they find interesting, right? So with the emperor, you are large and in charge, okay? So you are very much in control of your life and control of your feelings. Um, you have responsibilities that they see you knock out, like one, like you're not stressed about it, like you hand easily handle responsibilities with that two of wheels, though. I'm getting they may not know. Um, or they may have some clue, but not the extent of it, how, just how much you're balancing and dealing with. They know that there's something, right? But with this emperor, they you wear it well. You wear it very well, okay? You're very disciplined and controlled and very patient. Um, the emperor is also action. So um, they've seen you be very sort of take charge. They've witnessed you be um, a leader. And so they would describe you as that with this emperor. Um, the emperor is divine masculine energy or divine counterpart energy. So they could describe you as being their divine counterpart or making them get in touch with their divine self. So if you met them when they were um, sort of living low vibrational or they didn't understand like the love journey and things like that, you made their their ears sort of perk up and you made them become interested in being a better person because they see you and they feel like you're a, a very, like they have to meet a very high bar, okay? So let me clarify this emperor here. Some of you will be Aries or take on that really fiery, spontaneous Aries energy. Ace of Wands, okay? They see you as sexy. You're very domineering and they like it, okay? They like you. They, I feel like some of you may have role played and been dominatrix with this person, with this Ace of Wands and Emperor. You're very possibly kinky or very creative in, in the, the intimate space that you guys have. So they view you as exciting and inspiring. Um, you have helped lead them to be more maybe out of their shell, right? Because you have all this fire in, within you and all this passion and all this uh, courage within you right here. So they may see you as somebody who really turns them on with the haze of wands. Like when you in control, it turns them on when you tell them no, or when you take control, like it's just something about them with that ace of wands that makes them sort of... Mm, just get really excited about you. So you are balancing a lot of things in your life. They view you as very busy. They view you, they view you as a multitasker with this two of pentacles or two of wheels. Um, they feel like you have a lot of things that may distract you away from this connection. Um, we're going to get some clarity on what some of what that may be, but they definitely feel like you are trying to balance them and other things in your life. We're going to see what it is. Um, <laughs> Ten of wheels, you, them and your family. Okay. So you're a family person. Your family comes first. All right. Your family comes first. Your romantic life comes second. They definitely feel that way. They describe you that way. Somebody may say, where's group two? Or how are you in group two doing? Oh, group two is taking care of home and, you know, making sure their family's straight first. I understand like that sort of thing. They know that you're very busy. For a select few of you with this 10 of wheels we have here, some of you may be married okay and they know that they can't like really have all of you because there is a marriage here already um and that's your distraction or that's what you're busy um doing or busy like that's your responsibility but for the most part the ten of wheels is success and family and legacy and those things so they see you as somebody who is very much invested in your future the future of those you love and that's what you put your energy into you definitely do try to find time for other things and hobbies, but you're mostly serious about your financial security and your family security. All right. So justice, um, you're very fair. OK, you treat them very fairly. They may have had people who have judged them like off of a first meeting or they may have judged them off of appearance. You did not do that with them. They feel like you gave them the time of day. You gave them a chance to show and prove who they really were. And um, 
they find you to be very, um, very truthful and very honest. Okay. Very honest. Um, that's the sort of truth with that justice. They, when you speak, they, they feel it's the truth. Okay. That's the energy that they get from you. What's the justice here? The hermit. Yeah. So you're coming from a very deep place, right? You're very deep. Um, you're not just a surface person. We have the sun here showing that most of you are going to have a person that describes you physically first. <laughs> okay. They're going to be like, oh, they look good. They're beautiful. They're sexy. You know, that ace of wands, they turn me on. However, there is a deeper side to you that is also very visible. I feel like this hermit is um, energy of, you know, when to take a break, you know, when to fall back, you know, when to take time for yourself. Okay, that justice is representing somebody who sees things kind of clearly, fairly clearly. So you don't judge them. You don't judge their situation. You just sort of fall back, right? You're very calm. Like I said, very disciplined energy showing up, very um, controlled, in control of your emotions. So I do feel like they see you as somebody who um, has... <sighs> made good use of your life experiences and you have learned how to like you're an observer you've learned how to navigate people and different types of people and so that's why you don't judge because you see beauty in everybody and i feel like you made them see the beauty in themselves all right group two the chariot ambition of course right you're serious about your financial security you're the emperor some of you own businesses some of you own a business, all right? So they understand that you, your priority is securing your lifestyle for yourself and for your family. Um, yeah, page of cups, okay, with this chariot. Um, you're very ambitious. You are very, um, you're very, like, you know where you're going. It's like, you know, you're going to be great or, you know, you have so much more on your life path to conquer. And I feel like with this page of cups, this is representing that little bit of that you may give to love occasionally, right? Not because you're not filling them, but because you have prioritized. And I think they see that, but they know that you, um, you know, some of you may have been, um, ha may have come on very strong with them because you saw that they were something that you wanted and you went after them. And, um, it was a very strong energy that may have, um, excited them and with this page of cups made them think um about the possibilities because that's what the page of cups does they think about the possibilities right we have cancer energy here virgo aries libra capricorn here we have leo with the sun so you or your person could be any of those signs or none of those signs these are just the energies that you guys are taking on in this connection but they th they know that you're very sweet. You come off as very, sh very tough and strong, but you have a very sweet exterior. I mean, a very sweet interior. You have a very sweet personality. Um, this hermit, I'm sorry, this hermit is, um, again, that deep interior, like you, you are, um, more than your looks. Okay. You're more than your looks. For some of them, they feel like you are subtle with showing your beauty, like the hermit. Is covered so they feel like some of you are um you like to be subtle or be modest here also with this sun um <laughs> sometimes you may not like to be so modest and you are very outgoing and show a lot of skin so i'm getting goddess energy for group two let me um confirm this i mean the sun Let's see. They, they view you as like the center of attention. Um, they would describe you as very outgoing, great personality, large sense of humor. You probably have a really great laugh that they describe. Um, their, your smile. Okay. They describe your smile. Um, the will of fortune, like they see you as lucky. 
Okay. They view you as luck. They view you as life has blessed you. <laughs> okay. The will of fortune has turned in your favor many times in the looks department and the finances department. You could have a close circle of people around you where other people have families that are kind of torn apart. They see you as having everything all together. So they view you as very lucky in the looks department and, or just very blessed. All right. Um, they could be addicted to you, <laughs> obsessed with you, obsessed with your energy group too. They describe them. They can describe that. Like I'm obsessed with group two. I don't know what it is about them, but they turn me on. This is an arousal. This ace of wands, right? You could be an arousing an emperor or a divine counterpart. You're very sexy to them. All right. So the world, this is that exotic energy that we have where you're different from what they are used to, or you're different in some way that's noticeable. The Knight of Wheels or Knight of Pentacles. Um, they describe you again as very patient and very disciplined, very cautious. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is a traveler. They kind of stop along the way to view the scenery and to make sure they have all their ducks in a row. They're not speeding through town like the Knight of Wands. So while you could have Knight of Wands energy somewhere, right? Right now we're going to focus on this Knight of Wheels who is giving us a slower pace, who's giving us, I learn things as I go along, right? Even with them, you could be learning them as you go along and that's where your patience comes from. You feel like there's so much more you could learn um, about them. And so you don't rush the, the situation. You're not in a hurry. Virgo energy again. Some of you could travel a lot. Okay, I do get that with the world and the Knight of Wheels. Some of you could travel a lot. Okay. All right, so this hangman, that's that patience, that enlightenment, that wisdom that you have. Also, you kind of just surrender to, to the universe. You don't force things, group two. You don't try to force them to do anything. You let them come to you. I can see that now, right? You let them know when you want them. But for the most part, you've done your part. And so this person knows like how you are and when to come. Like you don't have to like kind of go off on them. They know, right? There's an intuitive connection here between you two. The hangman is that, like I said, we have the queen of wands and the four of, four of wands. Yeah. So very sexy, very stable. Um, they see you as proportionate. Like your body is very proportionate. Um, they love you. <laughs> like they love you. This queen of wands is a Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, the four of wands is fire energy. So you have a lot of fire in you, but you, you're you able to control that fire and that passion and people's desire. You're very desirable. So they describe you as desirable, but it's kind of subtle. So like I said, some of you may wear, um, you may cover up, so nobody would guess like that you are right, like really wild and crazy on the passionate side, but they love that about you. Um, this is confirming that beauty too. the queen of wands is physically, aesthetically very beautiful. Um, the four of wands is like celebration and stability and celebrating success and, and getting your life in order. So they view you as somebody who sort of doesn't chase things, who surrenders to like your purpose and who allows amazing things to happen to you. They just see you as somebody who good things always happen to you. That doesn't even have to be how it is with you. But because of the way that you carry yourself, you may not be the type of person to share your 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 tough times. You you like to keep a positive sort of um experience and a positive um like sort of keep a, a good face about things so they never see you sad or disappointed or angry i don't feel i don't see that at all that's why i said you're very disciplined and controlled queen of wheels okay this is confirming all that success they see you all that luck that they see you as having there's even a wheel here like a little i think it's called a spindle or something but yeah you are able to create you create your abundance, okay? You're able to create your abundance and the life that you want. 
They see you as resourceful. What's this Queen of Wheels for uh, Group 2? The Ace of Swords, honest, confirming that justice. They see you as honest. They feel like a lot of the things that you got in your life, you got it honestly. Because your own power of persuasion and your own power and talent, you didn't do, they don't feel like you're shady. They don't feel like you're manipulative. They don't describe you as having ulterior motives. They describe you as pretty face value. Pretty face value. You know, what you see is what you get with group two. They are beautiful on the inside. I mean, on the, well, on the inside too, but they are beautiful and stunning and on the outside and they get, grab a lot of people's attention. They walk into a room and people just stop, but they're also like a genuinely good person and they take care of those around them and they're a great friend and a great mother or a great parent, a great nurturer. Okay. So they definitely describe you as that. Seven of Wands, you don't play, <laughs> okay? So they know that you are all of those amazing, sweet, wonderful things. They also know that, I mean, I think they know that with the Emperor, right? You're not going to let anybody violate you. But with this Seven of Wands, I get that this person recognizes that you protect your home. You don't bring any strangers into your space. I mean, them in particular may not have been invited into your home yet because you're very um careful about who you bring around the people that you love, right? They describe you as like a, a mama bear or a fierce, loyal person to your family and your home first. With that seven of wands, definitely a protector. Group two, you're definitely a protector. Two of cups. And you're very protective of them and this connection. I love that. They know that you hold space for them in their heart. All right. And they hold space for you too. The two of cups is always a sign of mutual feelings, mutual interest, partnering up. This is a union. This is a soulmate connection here. So they describe you as their soulmate. They describe you as the person that they want to be with, that they feel like they're going to be with if you guys are not together. This seven of wands is like, you guys have fought really hard to get to where you are. Even if it feels like you haven't gone as far as you can go, you are not willing to give up your place in their life just yet. And they are not willing to give up their place in your life. So they view you as their one person right now. OK, so that's important for a lot of you to hear with this two of cups. You're it for them. All right. Two of swords. All right. So for some of them, they feel like you are for some of you, they feel like the reason why. You guys may not be together yet is because you put a stop to it. So they would describe you as maybe cautious of them or maybe describe you as um suspicious of them in some way but something is stopping you whatever it is hindering you guys i know that for the most part sometimes the divine masculine energies hold things up and that could be the case here too they know that there's something with you too that's stopping the connection they know that there's something going on here this two of swords you could be um telling yourself now isn't the right time Yes, I really want to be with them. I really want to get this thing, this show on the road here with this two of cups and start introducing to family and those sorts of things, bring them to my home. But I still need to see first like what's going on, right? So they see you as cautious. We did have the Knight of Wheels. So that is confirming that. Two of Swords. Actually, yeah, what's this Two of Swords? Page of Wands. So... They could view you at a crossroads in your life, like you just have a lot of things on your plate. Again, you've prioritized certain things, and right now they kind of take a back seat, but you hold space for them in their heart, in your heart. This page of wands, I mean, I think they would describe you as a fabulous dresser, very sexy. You look good when you come out and you take care of yourself, especially with that queen of... um Pentacles. The Queen of Wheels always gives me an energy of someone who smells good, right? So you smell good and they describe that like group two always smells so good. But like this two of swords being clarified by this page of wands, it's like you are very passionate and very sexy, but you do know how to like keep tabs on that, right? You try not to go too far or do too much, right? So they view you as modest, <laughs> 
They definitely view you as modest in some way. Okay, so we have the Sacred Fire, White Buffalo Calf Woman. This is an interesting story of, I think, two brothers who, they were faced with a image of a beautiful woman and they had to control themselves or something like that. And one brother was unable to control himself and the other brother was. And so the brother that was able to control himself was, was rewarded. So again, discipline, they view you as very disciplined. Um, they see you as the type of person who values yourself and describe you as such. And they also see you and describe you as someone who values like not just, um, people's physical appearance or how good they look. You want to know what's inside. So you make sacrifices when it comes to like, you may have met rich people that want to be with you, or you may have had like really famous or popular people want to talk to you, but you go for what's inside. You're disciplined. You're not moved by like material things. All right. So I think that this person sees you as sacred with this sacred fire. Leo energy showing up again with that sun. Sorceress. <laughs> so this is that magician energy with Morgan Le Fay. Yeah, you're like, um, I mean, yes, they could describe you as very much into witchcraft, if that's your thing, and very much into the mystical side of things. And but oh, this could just them be uh, them describing you as powerful. Okay, you exude power and they find that very sexy. Even that emperor is power. Okay, so the magician is an ability. You may have turned their feelings around. Like when they met you, they may not have wanted to be in a relationship or be with anyone. And then they met you and it's like, how did group two do that? Like, how did they make me all of a sudden want to be married and all of these things, right? <laughs> Eight of C's, depletion. All right, so this would be like that um, Eight of Cups energy. I feel like they would describe you as like emotionally over them. For some of you, the reason why you have the, your discipline definitely shows um, you've you've dealt with a lot from them. I think we can say you've put up with a lot from them and you don't show how frustrated they may have made you at times or even how angry they may have made you at times. For some of them, they feel like you're emotionally just over them. Right. Again, there's a sense that you guys both know that you're holding space for each other. They know that they are pushing their limits with you, though. Right. If they don't step up, you're very patient and you are very disciplined, but you also know that you deserve to have somebody who can match your energy. And so sometimes I feel like you, you do punish this person by pulling your energy away. You don't have to say a thing. You just pull your energy away and they know they're in trouble. Right. A static union. So this will be that lover's energy, but this is just them knowing that they have never felt this type of connection before. The attraction is off the hook here. Um, very much a physically attractive pair, but also you guys like it's it's like when they're around you, they feel their most complete. All the chakras are showing. Um, so you it's like you um Remember I said arouse, it's like you, you heighten all of their chakras, like you meet all of the, the requirements, you test them in their mental space, in their heart space, you, you do all of these things for them. Okay. So you're like the complete package. Yeah, you're the complete package. That's how they describe you. All right, I'm going to get some from the one, the uh, deck that I created. Okay, so this is for group two. How would, would your person describe you? Okay, so we have scent. What did I say? You smell bomb, okay? They can't stop talking about it. Um, This person knows that you take care of yourself, okay? They love that about you with this queen of wheels. Nurture yourself. You're probably the type of person to do like the, like all the body butters and scrubs and scents and just whatever, but your skin is always soft. Your scent is always bomb and aromatic and they love that, okay? 
this queen of wheels with the ace of swords too is is like they describe you as the person they want to make it official with i didn't want to leave that out it was something going on with that ace of swords that i was trying to channel and that is what it is they want to make it official with you so when i say like you're the only one for them they're only looking at you like you're the the main person i mean the the queen of pentacles is empress with the exception of maybe, you know, the empress is married or whatever, but there's just a lot of similarities. They see you as the ultimate, like, sort of person, goddess vibes, all right? So you smell good. What else does, uh, how else would group two's person describe them? Beautiful body, duh, okay? Very beautiful body, very beautiful face, like, physical attraction. They feel like you're blessed in that way. Yeah, again, you could be very proportionate. Passionate, okay? So we have passion. They describe you as very passionate. They describe you as very enticing and desirable here. We had that queen of, we had that queen of wands, okay? You match their, their drive, their sex drive, their ambition drive. There's just a lot of chemistry here between you two. There's a lot of physical attraction, but there's a lot of power you see in each other. One more for group two. How would their person describe them? Peaceful. What did I say? Okay, so that is confirmed. You guys are very peaceful. You sort of surrender to the circumstances around you when you figure things out and you are very controlled and disciplined and you don't let things get to you. And they see that in you and they love that about you group too. All right. So that is what I have for you guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if that resonates and I will talk to you soon. Group three, it is the Sun Sage back to do your pick a card reading. This is how would your person describe you? So some of you are curious as to how your person would describe you if they're talking to friends or even family or just how they would describe you um, just in any setting. You know, what, what would my person say about me? So this is the reading for you. You chose... Um, is this light seers? Yes, you chose light seer tarot and the lapis lazuli stone. Okay, so let's get okay. So we'll take it the fool. All right, let's get into how your person would describe you. I'm gonna do that again. All right, some of you could be Aquarius off the break, and you guys are into astrology. Um, the page of wands. How would group threes, if I called you guys group three, sorry, I mean group two, sorry, you guys are group three, okay? So, five of pentacles, how would group three's person describe them? The sun, nice, group two had that too. How would group three's person describe them? Three of cups, how would group three's person describe them? Knight of Wands. You guys are fun. That's what they describe you as, fun. Nine of Cups. Nice. What do we have for group three's person? How they would describe them? Strength. A Page of Cups. And we have two of Wands, okay? So, group three, I'm going to get some from the Mythical Goddess Tarot deck. And then at the end, towards the end of your reading, I'm going to um, choose some messages from my own deck of physical and personality traits, how they, your person could describe you. So, what do we have? We have <laughs> Static Union. All of the groups have got this. I love this. Shakti. That's like that lovers. So, all of you guys have someone who is very attracted to you. Power. Lilith. All of the groups, their person is very much attracted to them. 
we have Ten of Wind, Illusion. And we have Sacred Law, Crow on it. All right, so group three, I feel like your person would describe you as fun. Free spirit, okay? I get that a lot of you are, um, you're into fitness. I feel like a lot of you are into sports um, or they feel comfortable being sporty around you or uh, watching sports with you. You're just really, you make things fun. Okay, you make things very fun. You're not boring by any means. They feel like they have a friendship connection with you. For some of you, they may actually describe you as a friend that they see more with. Okay, so we have the fool. Okay, that's that free spirited, fun, lighthearted energy showing up, Aquarius energy. Um, this is you don't mind taking risks. They describe you as a risk taker. You could like to get on the really high roller coasters. You could love to go on adventures and place yourself in really seemingly dangerous situations uh, to other people, but uh, fun, exhilarating situations to you. So you could be the risk taker of this connection or of your group or, um, you know, however that resonates for you. But you're definitely very... Um, risky okay um for some of them they could feel like you're taking a risk on them okay um they feel like you're very childlike and innocent in the sense where you don't judge them you sort of just accept them for who they are and you see the good in them okay very innocent pure energy seven of wands but you are also very feisty, okay? So you're very innocent and pure. I get that your person describes you as that, like, or or your friendship or their relationship with you is very pure. Um, something that they, they don't ever want to cross you though, okay? So they do have an indication that you are a sweet, gentle person, but that you are also somebody, somebody who can stand up for yourself in any given moment. All right, with that seven of wands, with a page of wands, okay? Um, they love talking to you. They describe you as a great communicator. They love to hear from you. I feel like when they get a message from you, they get excited with this page of wands. Some of you are fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like they get, um, they get amped up when they hear from you. Some of you are very energetic, okay? So they describe you as very, having a lot of energy. Um, you're always on the go or something like that. You're always inviting them somewhere. What's going on with this page of wands? Seven of cups, you're always on the go. Going somewhere, you got your pick. Anywhere you could go. The seven of cups is options. Um, it could also be like illusion. They view you as somebody who has options or they view you as somebody who could be um, talking to other people or entertaining other people. Um, but it's interesting how I said illusion and we have illusion right here. So they almost could feel like you're too good to be true group three. Like you're so fun and you're like a great person to be around and a great person. Like they trust you. Okay. They trust you, but they also feel like if, if group three is this great, am I the only person that's seeing this and feeling them and are the only person they're talking to? So I definitely feel like they, like you're too good to be true for them. Five of Pentacles, all right? Some of you may have shared financial struggles with them that you um, are going through a challenging time financially. So they could describe you as having financial struggles. Um, they could also describe you as somebody who doesn't realize how beautiful you are or how talented you are, okay? The Five of Pentacles kind of sees the glass as half empty and instead of half full. So they could view you as somebody who doesn't realize how amazing you are. Okay, what's this five of pentacles here? Queen of cups. Okay, very generous, very loving, very warm and kind. We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Lots of attraction between you and your person group three. Um, I think they tell people they're very attracted to you. They're attracted to your warm heart. OK, a lot of you are very humble. You could be a little spendthrift. Um, 
you don't like to spend a lot of money. A lot of you have issues with money or um, credit card, like debt or something from your past or something that you dealt with. So they would describe you as even though sometimes you may not have it, you still find a way to help people and you still find a way to dip into your own reserves to help people. And that could put a lot of stress on you, group three. And I feel like this person acknowledges that about you, that you're very warm and giving and sweet. Um, but you deserve now, you know, you deserve this support in return with this Queen of Cups here. A lot of you could be water signs. Your person could be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You're beautiful. You're physically attractive, group three. That's how they would describe you as like physically attractive, very funny, center of attention. The sun is, you know, charismatic energy very lively and fun for swords and on the flip side of that a lot of you um you're very relaxed okay so you're very chill you're the type of person that they can chill with they may say describe you as that oh they're the best chill partner ever like they're the person i can hang out with and i can have the best laughs with i can have the best time with all right you guys may have taken naps together you guys may have even like partied together and then like gone to sleep after and nothing happened. It, just, it was just really innocent because there's a lot of innocence in you, group three. I do see that. And I feel like your person is aware because they describe you as that three of cups. You guys are friends. They describe you as having a great friendship. Again, you make them laugh. You They have a great time with you. They feel like this person is beautiful on the outside and they're amazing on the inside. This is three of cups. The page of swords, all these pages, okay? So some of you could be younger than them. Um, some of you could be um, new to like the whole relationship experience. And if you're not, it's just something about you that doesn't feel jaded and damaged, right? You still are very enthusiastic and you still want to learn more and know more. You guys may have met through mutual friends, Okay. You may have met through mutual friends. You guys could even gossip together. Okay. Somebody in this connection is a gossip with this page of swords here amongst the friendship circle. Um, or you guys like will be like, did you hear about this? And you could send them little news articles, just, you know, things to open up the conversation because they do love to talk to you, group three. They really do. Knight of Wands, okay? So sexy, passionate, fire. Some of you are into music. Some of you could play instruments. Um, some of you are very free spirited in the sense, you know, you, you, um, you could rescue animals, okay? I feel like you rescue animals or you spend a lot of time, um, you feel charitable, <laughs> group three. You feel very charitable. All right, what's this Knight of Wands? That Sagittarius energy, also Leo Aries, but very passionate and fun loving. Optimistic, group three. You're very optimistic. All right, Knight of Wands is coming up with the Hermit. I think each group has got that as well. So you are, I think they, they view you as a very balanced person. So even though you could be like a, a night owl, a party animal, sort of, you know, have a good time, uh, go all out, get crazy, you know how to bring it back down, <laughs> okay? You know how to bring it back down. You know how to take some time to yourself with this hermit. Um, I think a lot of you, like I said, you may ghost them sometimes, <laughs> or you may ghost them sometimes with this hermit energy, and they're probably like... I haven't heard from group three. Group three is like always out and having a good time. And I hate it because I'm not out with group three having a good time. So they just view you as the life of the party and they always want to be around you, right? Nine of Cups, they would describe you as being a wish, a dream come true, something they didn't believe was possible. Like the type, you're the type of person that they didn't know existed. This is that type of energy. What's this Nine of Cups? That wish fulfillment. They view you as getting anything that they that you want, possibly from them. Five of Swords. I do feel like there are some friendship dynamics here. Like you guys met amongst friends or you started out as friends. 
Five of Swords, like the Page of Swords and maybe even the Knight of Swords sometimes is gossip energy, friendship, sort of kind of drama in the, the friendship circle. So some of them may feel like you're you're the type of person that they want, but they don't like your friends or something. Um, or you don't like their friends. There's something here about friends. They want to be your only friend um, because they feel like I love I, like I want to be with group three so bad. But there's a but here. OK, and that could be about friends. Your friends, their friends are running their mouth in their ear. So they describe you as wish fulfillment, um, something that they feel like they want. Um, but there is a blockage here. All right. This strength, you're very strong. Like I said, some of you could be athletic and energetic and into sports physically, but just strength. You have a lot of courage here. They feel like they can tell you anything. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Very, uh, like, I feel like they come to your house or you have invited them to your home. We have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel like you are welcoming and you welcome this person into your space and make them feel loved on and comfortable. Group three, they describe you as a family person, as somebody who treats those around you like family and who loves those around you like family. And this also feels like that energy of no matter how much you are um, struggling or going through something, you make time for everyone else. And that's very strong, right? That they find a lot of strength in that. Page of Cups, another page, <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah, so this is definitely one of those connections that I feel hasn't evolved to the super romantic stage yet because I feel like you guys are kind of crushing on each other right now, all right? Now, if your connection goes past the crush, then this is that energy of it still feels fresh and new and you guys feel like kids again and it feels like you're in high school again, but this is definitely a connection that I feel sort of stays it doesn't get to like these um really super high I don't feel like you guys argue um yeah I'm not getting that you guys argue or have like troubles what's this page of cups ten of cups you have the nine of cups the ten of cups page of cups queen of cups the feelings are here. It's like you guys love each other, but on a friendship level that you see could evolve, right? Um, this Queen of Cups, for some of you, you've been left before. You've been cheated on and left before. And you're still able to open your heart. I feel like that wish fulfillment, that nine of cups is this person. Like, I want to be the person to make um, group three trust again, to love again. Okay. This page of cups clarified by this ten of cups is happiness. They have the best time with you. They love flirting with you. They love spending time with you. There's not a dull moment when you guys are in each other's presence. There's just like this amazing sort of friendship with a lot of potential to become something deeper. Two of Wands, you could travel and be planning to travel, but you have a lot of plans in life. They describe you as somebody who has a lot of plans. All right, some of you feel like you need to get your money up first, but you're very hopeful. Okay, Aquarius energy showing up again. You're just... You are... This is why you're, you're very like hopeful and optimistic. And I feel like you bring that out in this person. They may not have met someone so cheerful and so happy before, and it could feel like a little bit strange to them. Okay. With that five of swords. And so people are like, what are they so happy about? Or they could be like, what's group three so happy about? Like, why are they so positive and wonderful? Okay. A static union. There's a lot of attraction here between the two of you. There could be a lot of passion. I feel like you guys love being touchy-feely all over each other. We have a lot of cups, so I don't feel like the affection is at all lacking here. I feel like this is, you guys can't keep your hands off of each other. 
Okay, I get this energy from this ecstatic union. Gemini energy showing up. Aquarius again. Um, Let's see. We have Lilith for power. Okay, that's that emperor energy, that Aries energy. I feel like you guys have a lot of power over this person. They do describe you as very physically strong or athletic or something like that. Like you're able to endure things, but you're also somebody that they um admire. Okay, you're very powerful. You have a powerful hold over them. All right. Ten of wind, illusion. This is that this is this too good to be true? Like I met somebody who could be my lover and my best friend. That doesn't feel real. Okay, that doesn't feel real to them. And so they could question it at times. They could even feel like they're sabotaging it at times because they feel like you're too good for them or there's no way you could be into them. All right, group three. So sacred law, this is that justice card. Um, Marriage, right? They view you as the lover and a best friend. They view you as somebody they can have a great relationship with on all levels. You're easy to talk to. You're fun to be with. You're great to have a conversation with and to have a drink or a smoke with, right? All right, let's get some physical and personality traits for group three. How would they describe you? Passion. Yeah, you're very passionate. We have that Knight of Wands confirming that. You love to move your body. Okay, group three. You love to move your body. You're, you're very exciting and excitable. Um, yeah, passion, forgiving. Okay. So, of course, you're the queen of cups. You got all these cups energies. You have these amazing, amazingly friendly, fun, innocent energies. Of course, you're forgiving. You're very trusting too, group three, very trusting. You have a great heart. You have a great heart, group three, peaceful. Okay, you're very peaceful. You're very fun. You like to look at the bright side of life. You like to keep the peace. If there is drama or gossipy type of people, I feel like you try to make sure everybody stays respectful. All right, what else do we have? Your pride. That's that, uh, this strength, Leo energy. I think that's here. Do we have the, yeah, we have the sun. So that's here twice. Some of you are Leos. Your laugh is infectious, but your pride, the way you carry yourself and take care of yourself, this person describes you as being top tier. All right, you're like just an all around fun, good person with a great heart. All right, group three. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope that resonated. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon.